Okay, welcome to hole one. This one comes from the Juniper Point course, and unless we have headwind, I will be playing to the left side route in an attempt to make the green in one. Played at 10% downhill, ideally with a power five ball, but certainly manageable, especially in tailwind with a power three, such as a Titan. I use maximum top, maximum right spin with the highest level of extra mile available to me. And I basically add over power as necessary to put this one on the green or just in the grass beside the green. So obviously here with this shot, I have landed in the sand since I didn't give it enough over power uh, in this example, but since it's so close to the green, uh, or to the hole I should say, it's simply a matter of hitting perfect and this ball is in the hole. You are welcome to play to the right side fairway if you choose, but know that you will be tasked with a short or long iron to the pin for that eagle opportunity. I see the eagle on this hole as a major factor as to whether or not we banner on the weekend and I will certainly be going for the green. Okay, on to hole four, which is a lovely opportunity for an eagle. I play the drive at 10% downhill elevation. Now you see me playing a basic ball here, but I would definitely recommend using at least a navigator for cutting down the wind and you see the little spot in the corner right by the bunker and the right fairway. Um, this is my go-to setup spot for this shot. And I like to use max topspin to get nicely down the fairway for a thorn shot to the pin. It is absolutely a great option to play over that left bunker and use less topspin. It depends on your preference as long as you get yourself a little past the 303 yard mark it should set you up nicely for the second shot which I play at 10% downhill elevation now record your drive yardage and adjust your shot distance in accordance with the drive and that makes this a very dial inable shot for Eagle now with a level one thorn that ball guide is not quite there Yet, if you are careful, I know you're going to make it. You have a great... Uh... Hole number seven is a par four from the Gokasho Bay course. I play the drive here at 10% downhill elevation with max topspin, max right spin. Uh, the play here for me in rookie is to use anywhere from a basic ball up to a kingmaker. I bounce off the small strip of fairway to the right hand side and roll up as far as possible, uh, as close as possible to the green. Now I push up the drive here in this example by one ring, but this step it's not essential. And I also give the drive as much right curl as an extra mile four will allow and know to use as much overpower as you feel comfortable to improve the overall outcome of the drive, but it can be done without it as well. And this is another hole where recording your drive distance will go a long way towards dialing in the second shot for that consistent eagle. Now on the second shot with a drive distance of 333 yards, I'm playing a level five backbone and minimum distance with maximum backspin and a slight amount of right curl. You know, therefore in the tournament, I'll likely choose a katana or kingmaker ball to give me that side spin three to diminish the need for any curl. Or potentially I could be playing here with a Saturn, which is gonna give maximum backspin and allow for that more consistent landing position on the green because this fairway can be a little bit unpredictable. So I think it's gonna be a Saturn play for me in the tournament, but we're gonna to have to take a look and see what works for each account. Good luck to you and get that eagle. 